so in this question we're told that the point p has coordinates 3 4 and that the point q has coordinates a b we're then told that a line which is perpendicular to pq is given by the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 7 and we're asked to find an expression for b in terms of a using all of this information we've been given in the question so if we've got the coordinates of p and q on the line pq we could use these to work out the gradient of pq in terms of a and b and that might come in really useful if we can work out what the gradient of pq is using another method as well possibly using the line perpendicular to pq and then we can make them equal to each other and work with those to get an expression for b in terms of a so if i start by looking at the line that's perpendicular to pq and that's given by the equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. now it's always a good idea to get equations of lines that are in a bit of a more complicated form into the form of y equals something so that they look a bit more familiar and easier to work with. So if I subtract 3x from both sides of this equation and then I can divide both sides of the equation by 2 and that leaves me with an equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Now I've basically calculated the gradient of this line that's perpendicular to PQ. So the gradient of this line m is equal to minus 3 over 2. Now if this line is perpendicular to PQ, the gradient of PQ is going to be the negative reciprocal of this gradient because the gradients of two perpendicular lines multiply together to make minus 1. So if I take the gradient of PQ, I need to take the negative reciprocal, so minus 1 divided by the gradient of this line here, and that's going to give me a gradient for PQ of 2 thirds. So now that I've got a numerical value for the gradient of PQ, if I work out the gradient in terms of A and B, then I can use these and make them equal to each other to find this expression for b in terms of a. So the gradient of pq is going to be equal to the change in y over the change in x values for the line pq. So if I take the points at q, so q the coordinates are a, b and p the coordinates are 3, 4. So I take the y coordinates firstly and do the change in y coordinates the difference between the two so b minus 4 and then do that over the difference in the x coordinates so a minus 3 that's going to get me the gradient of pq so the gradient of pq in terms of a and b is b minus 4 over a minus 3 now this is obviously going to be equal to the gradient we've calculated here so the two thirds so I can set up an equation making them equal to each other. So b minus 4 over a minus 3 is equal to 2 thirds. And then to simplify this, I can cross multiply. So multiply the 3 by b over 4, b minus 4, and multiply a minus 3 by 2. And that is going to give me 3 lots of b minus 4 is equal to 2 lots of a minus 3. So 3b minus 12 is equal to 2a minus 6 and then if I want an equation expression for b in terms of a I can take I can add 12 to both sides to firstly get me this and then I can divide both sides by 3 to leave me with b is equal to 2 thirds a plus 6 divided by 3 which is 2 here and that is going to be the correct final answer to get us the final mark here. B is equal to 2 thirds A plus 2. Now if I go back and have a look at how the marks were awarded here, I would have gotten the first mark for rearranging the equation up here to get Y in terms of X to start off this process. 
and then for using its gradient and finding the negative reciprocal of it that would give me the second mark so basically the two gradients have to multiply to minus one so we could have set up an equation there to figure this out but this would get me the second mark here and then the third mark is going to be for a process to find the gradient of pq using a and b so finding that b minus 4 over a minus 3 is the gradient and then the fourth mark is for setting up an equation where they're equal to each other so these two gradients are equal and then the fifth and final mark is going to be for this correct final answer of b is equal to 2 thirds a plus 2.